Hello and welcome to the News in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Law Decree 42 of 2018, amending some provisions of Law Decree 19 of 1976 regarding insignia. The Law Decree stipulated the creation of a new national action insignia next to the BDF insignia, in addition to the prescribed state insignia as per Article 1 of Law Decree 19 of 1976. The decree also stipulated under Article 6, Ditto 4, that the national action insignia be granted to civilian or military Bahrainis and non-Bahrainis who have rendered useful services in the homeland's interest or remarkable patriotic services in any field for anyone His Majesty the King deems to grant this insignia. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 42 of 2018 stipulating the structuring of the General Organisation for Social Insurance, GOSI, Board of Directors as follows. The Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa as the Chairman. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa representing the Government. The Minister of Parliament Affairs, Ghanem bin Fadl Al Buenin representing the Government. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Humaydan, representing the government. The Chief Executive Officer of the Electricity and Water Authority, EWA, Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, representing government employees. The Chairman of Civil Service Bureau, the CSB, Ahmed Zayed Al Zayed, representing government employees. The CEO of the Information and e Government Authority, Mohammed Ali Al Qaid, representing government employees. The first Vice Chairman of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, Khalid Mohammed Najibi, representing private sector employees. The Finance Secretary of BCCI, Araf Ahmed Idris, representing private sector employees. The Member of BCCI Board of Directors, Sonia Mohammed Janahi, representing private sector employees. Assistant Secretary General for Worker, Women and Child at the General Federation of Workers' Trade Unions in Bahrain, the GFWTUB, Saad Mohammed Mubarak, representing private sector employees. Secretary of GFWTUB, Usama Salman Hassan Mohammed, representing private sector employees. The IT Director of Our Capital Group, Michel Ali Al Hilo, representing private sector employees. Mohammed Ibrahim Al Bastigi, as expert member, and Dr. Malala Jaffa Ahmadi, as expert member. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 43 of 2018, appointing a General Director in the Customs Affairs at the Ministry of Interior. The decree stipulated the appointment of Brigadier Abdullah Hamad Al Kabezi as General Director for Inspection and Customs Security in the rank of Assistant Under Secretary in the Ministry. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safira Palace Royal Guard Commander Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He presented to His Majesty Lieutenant Abdullah Al Sayed Al Tia from the Bahrain Defence Force on the occasion of him graduating from Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the United Kingdom, achieving the highest rank and the first officer to earn three excellent awards in the history of the Academy the Sword of Honour Award, the Academic and Military Award, and Excellence in Sports Award. His Majesty congratulated Lieutenant Al Sayed and hailed his honourable achievement that was made thanks to his keenness and capabilities. His Majesty praised the dedication of the people of Bahrain and the efforts to achieve the highest ranks in order to enhance the status of the Kingdom in various events. His Majesty the King hailed the role of Sandhurst Academy, its programmes and its curricula. He also praised the bilateral relations and the keenness of both countries to further bolster these relations. His Majesty then honoured the Lieutenant with the Medal of Competence in appreciation of his efforts wishing him further success in his future endeavours. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriar Palace members of Al Naim family, where His Majesty the King healed the role in building the country's march and their patriotism throughout its national history. His Majesty the King discussed the Zabara area and Al Khalifa family ruling of Qatar and the allegiance of the families of the area to Al Khalifa to establish that country. His Majesty the King stated that solidarity with the people of Qatar will remain solid as common descent, history and goals connects both people 
affirming that the violence the people had faced in Alzebra in 1937 and the forced displacement that ensued and the attack Alzebra and Aldebil suffered will not be forgotten. The attendees expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, affirming their loyalty and commending the Kingdom's development and advancement under the leadership of His Majesty the King.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Rifa Palace yesterday Saudi Arabia's Minister of Finance, Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Jadan, the Minister of State for Financial Affairs of the United Arab Emirates, Ubaid bin Hamad Al Taya, Minister of Finance of Kuwait, Dr. Niaf bin Fala Al Hajraf, and Chairman and General Director of the Arab Monetary Fund, Dr. Abdurrahman Al Hamadi. During the meeting, His Royal Highness noted the long standing ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Kuwait. He highlighted the strength of cooperation and unity between Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Kuwait, adding that the country's shared objectives and values underpin extensive collaboration. His Royal Highness welcomed support expressed by KSA, UAE and Kuwait towards strengthening Bahrain's fiscal stability, which is a reflection of the strength of relations between the countries. The Minister of Finance of Bahrain, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The Ministers of Finance of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, the State of Kuwait and the Kingdom of Bahrain yesterday met in Manama to review a technical report which includes a comprehensive fiscal balance programme prepared by the four countries' joint working team in coordination with the Arab Monetary Fund. In light of the previous announcement to consider all options to support Bahrain and to finalise an integrated programme to enhance Bahrain's fiscal stability and economic growth, the ministers reaffirmed the country's commitment to supporting the financing needs of a fiscal balance programme with targeted indicators. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr Abdul Hussein bin Al Mirzi, conducted today an inspection visit of the installation of solar systems project in the multi-storey parking lot at the Avenues Mall, which produces about 250 kilowatts of solar energy. The Minister stated that due to the keen interest of the Bahraini government to benefit from clean energy and in order to achieve the national goals approved by the Cabinet to increase the share of renewable energy, this project is the first of its kind in one of the largest malls in the kingdom. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to the management of the Avenues Mall and the Mohammed Salah El Din Foundation for this outstanding initiative and the efforts to contribute to achieving national goals regarding renewable energy and activating the uses for sustainable and comprehensive development. He also praised the contribution of the private sector. The Minister affirmed that this will also contribute to conserving natural resources and represents a positive step towards achieving international commitments in energy efficiency and renewable energy. Within the framework of the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of fulfilling the citizens' needs and in following up with the efforts of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, of implementing its action programme and an implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, of distributing 5,000 housing units, the Assistant Under Secretary for Policies and Housing Services, Dr Khalid Abdurrahman Al Haydan, announced the Ministry's continuation of distributing over 3,000 completed housing units of the Salman Town project. He added that the Ministry is also distributing over 1,400 completed housing units in Island 14 of Salman Town until the end of August on consecutive batches following the completion of the distributing of the completed units in Island 13. Al Haydan affirmed the Ministry's commitment to implementing the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of distributing 5,000 housing units as soon as possible according to the timetable.